Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for July 5th. We're looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This particular pair did close up on Friday. Um, it did gap a little bit at the open, but not a very significant gap. It gapped up a little bit. Um, I am looking for this pair to continue moving sideways and the bias to sideways. I am looking for some resistance to hit some uh, resistance around the 96.80 mark and also the uh, hitting some potential resistance around the one I'm sorry the 9499 level which is right about here uh, look for some uh, that's about as high as it'll go look for some resistance though around the 9656 level right about here and also look for hitting some resistance around 9564 level right about here now let's take a look at the Euro USD pair. This particular pair uh, did gap down fairly significant amount, about 19 pips. I am looking for this pair to continue moving sideways, bias sideways as well. I am looking for uh, this pair to potentially go as high as 141.29, right about here, and as low as 138.36, so a little bit lower. Look for some resistance around 140.32 and look for some support around 139.26 in this particular pair. Now switching over to the pound US dollar pair, this pair uh, gapped down but just a little bit at the open of today's session. Did close down lower uh, overall on Friday. We're looking for this pair to continue moving sideways, bias sideways. I am looking for this pair to potentially go as high as 1.6553, possibly as low as 161.83. Uh, now look for some resistance around 163.64 and possibly look for some support around 162.30 in this particular pair. Now switching over to the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair I'm looking for it to continue moving sideways, bias to sideways. Look for this pair to move potentially as high as 1.0976, possibly as low as 1748 in this particular pair, which would be right about here. Look for some resistance around 1.0913, and possibly look for some support around 1.0820, which would be right about there. Now, we don't have any news announcements going into tomorrow's session. It's uh, re relatively quiet. What I am looking for over the next couple of sessions, though, would be a break of this low looking to tag this session's low. I do believe we will see that. Maybe I can get a better trend line using... There we go. Going down, I, I do look for... I am looking for a breakout uh, below the... Below the 162.50 mark, which is right about here, and looking for it to move lower down to the 161.86 level, which would be a fairly significant move. Talking a move of about 70 pips or so, I do anticipate seeing that in the next session or two. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.